Let's go through this basic yet very important probability question. So we have an example here where it says that probability of snow is 20% and the probability of car accident is 10%. By the way, they're independent of each other. Next, the question is asking then what is the probability of snow and car accident on the same day? So the definition is that if you're looking for probability of A and B, we need to go ahead and multiply the probability of A and probability of B. So here, probability of snow is 20% and probability of car accident is 10%. So we multiply the two probability. What's important here that I wanted to point out is that when you're multiplying percents, you can't just 20% times 10% and get 200%. Imagine getting 200% of car accident and snow, crazy. What we have to do is change that 20% into 0.2 and then change that 10% into 0.1 and then multiply. What we get 0.02 and then change it into percent, which will be 2%. So again, given that the probability of snow is 20% and the probability of car accident is 10%, then the probability of snow and car accident is going to be 2%. This time, let's go ahead and find the probability of snow or car accident. Notice that we've already found the probability of snow and car accident as 2%. Now, we're going to find the probability of snow or car accident. So, to find the probability of A or, a or B, what we want to do is we want to find the probability of A plus probability of B. But here's the important thing. We need to go ahead and subtract the probability of A and B because of the fact that probability of A and B is counted twice when we do probability of A plus probability of B. And for that reason, we do subtract the probability of A and B in order to find probability of A or B. So we start with 20%, the probability of snow, and plus 10%, the probability of car accident and notice that we add when, we, when we're looking for the probability of snow or car accident so the or we add and we multiply and of course we have the two percent for the probability of a and b unlike multiplying we're able to add and subtract percents meaning we don't have to change that 20 percent into a decimal or change the 10 percent into decimal we could just go ahead and add the numbers. 20 plus 10 is 30, minus 2 is uh, 28. So then our final answer is going to be 28%.